Oh, let's do this. Yes. Ex excuse me. Yes. Hello. I'll take that. I will be taking you. You are going to go somewhere. Um, <laughs> you go there. Boom. Leather armor would also be a nice cop. If I can roll for sp space here. I rolled for money. There's got to be a way to fit everything. There we go. Boom. You go up there. You go right there. You go right here. Beautiful. Okay. I'm going with hammer, hammer action. Hammer situation action on the first round. I like it. Got me a banana for the stamina too. Which is great. Bonk. Am I going to lose? No, we got this. We're fine. There we go. <laughs> I was scared there for a second. Ding. Give me that money. Boom, boom. Roll. Another B Nance. I will take. Don't have space for you, but I'm going to need you anyway. So might as well take you. Getting leather armor on a Reaper is never a bad idea because the longer the battle goes on, the higher poison you can put on, the higher your um survival rate. You know what I mean? So that's all good. Plus, having a weapon that just hits like crazy is very nice as well. <laughs> I didn't miss that one time there. GG's deck of cards, a dagger, bro. The game is being very nice right now. Um, we need space. Should I get the deck of cards or should I get the dagger here? I actually don't know. I can't fit either. I say we get the deck of cards. Mainly because I was wondering what other card I would get there. <laughs> That's the only reason, but I don't need the reverse card. So we're just going to pass on that. Okay. Got you a shovel and a broom. Plus you got the health potion. Why you did not turn this 90 degrees. I've got no idea why you didn't turn at 90 degrees, but you didn't turn at 90 degrees. At least on the bright side, we're not worried about stamina because we got double B Nance. So that's good. But we're probably going to get out poisoned here. Plus the three blind does not help the hammer. Even though we just hit him three times in a row without missing. Wow, we got lucky. One miss there is game over for us. Well, not really game over, but you know, we lose, you know, <laughs> I want this pig. I want the pig, but I need space in order to fit my dagger. That extra dagger is going to help with damage because we barely won that last match. So I say we just get stamina sack reserved the pig until next round and we just roll with this dagger. More than likely, that's the better play. Do something like this or something like that is better. And then that for luck. Here we go. Not too shabby. Ah, uh, probably going to lose this due to them just having dragon scale armor. Although his stamina sucks. I mean, he's rocking hero sword with pan with a broom with only one banana. So his stamina is atrocious. A dragon scale hurts, but it's over now. So we actually might win. Plus, we're putting on a lot more poison now that we uh, introduced a dagger into the situation, which is good. Another dagger. Huh? I'll take it. Ooh, rhino time. Big boy space. I like it. I like it. Let's. Let me see here, because we want both daggers to be inside of the uh, of the poison. Or the storage coffin, but we also need the pig to be next to the hammer. Unless we do this, or even we can even do this. That uses up less space, which is good for us. Have to put the banana back there. Damn, this doesn't work out well. Cause I'd have to do this, but then I need the leather armor to go somewhere, right? Yep, leather armor really doesn't have a space. If I do that. That also kind of just doesn't work because the other banana's not in there. Unless I move that forward and then do that and then do that. And this works, but where's the pig in the deck of cars going to go? You know what I mean? So deck of cars would probably have to go here. 
There's also that one little small space over there that we kind of just can't have over there. Um, no, that's not going to work, is it? Um. We still got that one space over there, though, which is a problem. Unless I can utilize that one space in some way, it's not going to work, is it? I don't think so. Unless I can just figure out a way to utilize that one space. Somehow, some way, there is a way. Okay, that kind of works. I like the way that looks. That works. Double dagger right there. What about this leather bag? And now we just gotta figure out a way for her. <laughs> the bananas to fit in here, which I mean, I, they can't. Well, I guess I could do this and that kind of works. I wish the other banana could be in the store's coffin though. That's the only issue. I'm gonna go with this. I know there's some world where the banana can fit in the other store's coffin. I just don't know the world. Wow, double hammers is crazy. Of three bananas. Double hammer is crazy, bro. Yeah, double hammer is crazy. With the pig, too? <laughs> Be cool if it worked. Oh, I gotta get I gotta get the ruby egg here. I gotta get the ruby egg. Can I get some space on sale? No. Uh, what do we do here? Do we sacrifice? We have two options. Option one would be to not use a deck of cards so we can get some rounds on this because that's four slots. Option two is to use a deck of cards, but also get rid of, getting rid of leather armor and we can incorporate the goober and the ruby egg. I think I'm going to try option two with Goobert here. See if we can make something shake with this guy. Do something like that. Um, As far as activators on this goes, I would like it to be the double daggers. Realistically... I gotta make sure I'm not using the armor here. Cannot forget that. Uh, I guess we'll do this. The activators, yes, getting that. Okay, we'll, we'll go with this. We'll go with this. We'll see what happens with this. Okay. We're gonna have to rely heavy on Goober for healing here. Which might not be too big of a problem. I mean, we do have double bananas. Plus, we got double daggers for the activation of the goober for the healing. They're putting on more poison, which means that's bad because they have more activators in here. But we have more DPS. Oh, that was a really good hit. Okay. I think we made a good choice there. Hey, poison goober. Nice. That's nice, too. That's nice. This is nice. Okay, so priority is Poison Goober right now. And that's pretty much it. That's going to give us space. And that's, yeah, that's that's about all. <laughs> It'll give us space, which is great. Oh, Dagger versus Dagger build. Claws of Attack is, might be a problem, though, because he's going to get Empowerment, which means his daggers are going to uh, do more damage. They And he's got the Health Potions. Cleansing our Poison, we lose. Plus Berserker Mode. Yeah, we lose, we lose. We lose. Good game. That was a fair match. We'll take this L with pride. Take it with pride. That's fine. Um, boom. Hex blade. Boom, boom. Roll. <gasps> there goes our poison dagger. Honestly, getting the health potion too would be good for the heroic potion. 
this guy can be an activator. I wonder if I can fit everything, though. So that's going to go there. The dragon, uh, 2.2, maybe, well, I don't know what would be a better activator. Because this is 1.7, right? 50% chance. 1.7. Versus a 2.2, but the 2.2 is more consistent. That actually happening. Can't really put that there, can I? Because that's got to be on there, at least. I guess I could do this. And that can go there. But I need that stamina potion to go somewhere to get an upgrade on it, right? Otherwise, it kind of just sucks. Which more than likely means this has to go here. But that's not going to be enough slots. So I'd have to utilize this one singular space somehow. How am I going to utilize that one singular space somehow? Hmm. Okay, that's not bad. Only problem is I'm not using my Ruby Whelp. I'd rather use my Ruby Whelp somewhere. Okay, this works. Mm. I wish I was a protective purse, <laughs> to be honest. How much money am I getting? 12? I'm gonna grab this health potion. Man, is there a way for me to get these two slots somehow? I'd have to figure out something. Well, wait, I could do this. And I just need slots up there. Like that. And that kind of just works. Kind of just works. Um. That can go there. Banana. Damn it. Almost. What? Wait. No. Still no. I did this instead. And then did this. And then that. And then that. Awesome. That works. I can either do this or I could like combine these potions because we have the armor slot from the leather armor and we could possibly just do something like this. That'll proc, which makes this is the proc, which makes this proc, which means we get the empowerment, which means our daggers are going to do one extra damage, which is great. And then we'll drop below 50% health. We'll get even more uh, armor versus just Ruby Whelp damage. I don't know which one would be better. I'm going to go with this. I don't know which one would be better, <laughs> but we're going to go with this. Uh, relying on heat generation, it seems. At least he doesn't have any other ice items. And he's only got one DPS, which is good. He also doesn't have spikes, which is good. So we're probably going to win this. Yeah. <laughs> and you got destroyed. Good game. Ding. Let's get both of you. That was a lot of money, but I'll take it. A lot of money. Um, let's see here. What are we going to do? Let's... Uh, I can't switch those two, can I? I need this poison potion to go somewhere. That's the thing. Which, I mean, I guess I could do that. Then again, I do have this extra space I can utilize somehow. Somehow, some way. There's gotta be a better way to utilize this space. Um. I 
I want the I'm trying to use this health potion. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm trying to use this health potion somehow to activate the uh any of these potions, honestly. Like activated them twice. That's about it. Unless I did this? I mean that doesn't really help. Wait, no. No, that doesn't help. Yeah, because that has to go over there. Unless I move this over by one. That still kind of just doesn't work. Yeah. Uh... Same problem. <laughs> Same freaking problem. Maybe this will be better? Nope. I'm convinced this is too difficult for my small head. Okay. <laughs> it's too difficult for my small head. I wonder if I did this. No. Too difficult for my small head. I give up. <laughs> We're just gonna rock with this. We're just gonna rock with this and call it a day. We're calling it out a day. I'm satisfied with this. Actually, I'm picking up that cap. I'm satisfied with this, though. Should win. I mean, it's just a sphere. In a broom. Artifact the cold is dangerous, but I mean, we still win. GG's. Ding. So we need pig for more money for economy. Um, and honestly, no, we can't. We don't have enough space for everything. So I say we just get this. Just to add more space to our arsenal. And we can also just move everything over here. Like so. And that kind of just works. Unless I wanted to use this guy, which I kind of do want to use that guy. So let's use that guy. Somehow. I wonder if I can like... Maybe do this into that into this into that. I could turn that into an ice dragon. I don't want to turn that into an ice dragon though. <laughs> right after we chunk. Oh wow, hammer build on a pyro with molten daggers is nuts. He needs way more mana generation though than that just one blueberry. But I can see the potential in this build that he's got. Very dangerous. It's going to eat up all of his heat. But it's still a very dangerous build. It's a beautiful hit. We need Corrupted Crystals for survivability ASAP. Good game, though. Speaking of Corrupted Crystals. Money. Corrupted Crystal. Cap. I do want the dagger. I'm, I think I'm going to skip out on this dagger. It's just, we need other things that are just more important like that <laughs> just like that all right so you're gonna go inside of an armor slot cap of resilience needs to combine with the stone skin potion in order to turn that into a stone helmet only problem is i need to use these two but they need to go in those two slots how are we going to make that happen is the question of the day I don't know. <laughs> the only thing that can go there would be you, which means we have to move you over there too, like this. But then we don't get our double proc on the heroic potion, which means our build isn't as strong, which is a problem. Unless I move this, move this down, move this upwards. 
and then that way we can get our double proc like this but that's two extra slots that we have open for no reason which is a problem unless i move this over by one now it's a little bit better a little bit better a little bit better a little bit better a little little bit better but not good enough i don't think and i can't really move this around so that's a little bit unfortunate unless i put this here instead and do like that that frees up the potions at least maybe even go like that and then do something like this Potions are still kind of weird. So are the slots. And not having these be used is not good. I don't think. Let's see, unless I switch this, move that down by one. Maybe move the dragon somewhere else. Maybe do like this. Dragon goes here. And then maybe we keep the card situation there. Potentially. Okay. Okay, that, that's, this is looking promising. This is looking promising. Beautiful. Absolutely, we can't use the banana, but we did still make it work, which is great. And it's just, it's just one singular banana. Okay, I'm not tripping over one banana. That's all, that's the only combination I want to do, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not tripping over just one banana. So, I will be perfectly happy with this. Okay, you got your claws and freaking thorn bloom. I see you. It's getting close, man. Oh, poison saves the day. That was close. Poison saves a freaking day. And I got my stone helmet, which is nice. Let's get both of those. There goes my uh, ruby, dude. Debating on getting this dagger right now, truthfully. Not really sure if I should get you right now. Um, We might have enough space to just fuck around. Honestly, now that we got that combination out the way and we bought more space. That's what it's looking like, at least. It's got to be a some way to combine this. Right, I mean, that works. I'm just not sure how smart it is to get a dagger when I already don't have another poison dagger. You know what I mean? Not sure. But we got six gold. I could roll a few times here. What are the chances we get another dagger though, you know? I'm feeling pretty confident, I think. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it, roll twice. I regret getting it. But then again, I kind of don't regret getting it. You know what I mean? It's like a regret, but not a regret. Should I get this protective purse? I don't know. Keep it like that, I guess. I could honestly move this here. And that way I'm able to do that instead, which is better. Okay, that works. And we'll just do this. Okay. Uh, I, I, uh, yeah, I'll get the protect first. We're running low on space and plus having just like one protect first helps. And those like weird slotting situations of sorts double shield is going to be a problem for us because we don't really have stamina generation like that we have like one stamina potion and we're going to need a lot more to beat this guy because he's got pets and 15 spikes on us 
which is a problem. Oh! We still win. Tim? Huh. I don't know. I feel like I should. I feel like I should just to do it. Honestly, putting it inside the backpack could be cool because of the five empowerment, which is just W DPS. Uh, I think I'd do it, just not right now. Because we're not going to have the money. Reflect three debuffs if there are no duplicate cards before steal three buffs. Eh. I gotta figure out where I want my ruby chunk to go first, right? I think I'm also gonna switch this situation up just a tad. Do something like this. Uh, that can go there. It's a perfect location, actually. Um, other dagger's definitely gonna go there. Like that. Helmet can go there. Oh, we need to combine though, so Poison potion has to go here or actually we could put the poison potion there. I mean, I kind of do want it to like Rock off of that right, but then Kind of got cursed dagger or I mean we could do this that works actually I forgot I had a whole nother dagger That I can just use forgot about that Okay, and then we'll just go double double boom into you that's looking good. Yeah, this is looking good. And we're, we're just going to get Tim next round, I think, is the play. Wow, double chili goober. And he's getting sun armor? With vamp? Betting on the uh, the G Gen lamp procs? I see. Okay. I see you. You're scary. That was a big hit. Holy crap. I think we crit for like 40 something. Jesus Christ. Oh, we need more heat generation. We need more heat generation for the ruby chunk. We need 12, at least 12. We're kind of not getting lucky with our heat generation though, you know? I, I guess this will help. Stealing buffs. This for space, never bad. Now we just need to get a, a lot more of the fire dragon cards. I don't know what to put this on. And I don't know if it's better to have it in the backpack when you're doing a hammer build because of the five empowerment. But then again, if your opponent drops below 30% of health, you're probably going to win. So it's better to just steal a random buff, right? And if that's the case, what do I put it on? Maybe I put it on the curse dagger since it's 2.2, which is this, almost the same speed as the hammer, but it can, uh, you know, proc twice. You know what I mean? So that's probably the best thing to put it on. 0.2 seconds slower than the ruby chunk and the hammer, but... It can proc twice because of the hammer. So that's probably the better thing to put it on, realistically. Cheese Guru, you're gonna have a lot of health. She had the present. This is actually kind of cool. This is gonna misfortune is gonna be interesting. It looks like it's gonna be stacking up a bunch of regeneration. Then again, you don't really have a cloak. You don't have a luck generator, do you? So I guess it doesn't matter. Berserker mode, he's got two spike collars. That's gonna be lasting a while. Plus, dragon scale is a problem. Longevity for us is going to be an issue, but poison kind of fixes that, actually. Yeah, by the time we run out of stamina, we can kind of just rely on poison to finish off, finish him off. You know what I mean? Unless we die here? No, we don't. But yeah, you can kind of just rely on poison to finish him off and then re uh, rely on Ruby Chunk for the double proccing. You know, that kind of works. It'll work even better if we we're able to actually get uh fire. <laughs> you know, things that actually get fire. I should probably get this blood amulet. And give me a bloody dagger. I feel like our poison generation is fine, so I'm gonna do that. It's on sale. There we go. We need this. We need a lot more of those. If I can find me that, maybe some coals. Okay, pretty much the exact same build except. They don't have a poison goober, but they have far more of these guys than we do. 
but they don't have double corrupted crystal you know and our stun prevention is double this is a pretty even match but they're they're gonna be able to utilize their ruby chunk way better than us because they're gonna have a lot more heat than us we'll see how this goes hopefully tim can just steal heat from them because we kind of we're gonna need that but our survivability is better it seems but man that heat oof it's starting that was a beautiful hit oh my gosh that was such a good hit that was a good hit from them let's go Woo! that survivability bro the corrupted crystals 54 poison versus 24 poison man if we can just get our heat generation up we would be in a such such a better spot plus that bloody dagger right there is going to help with our survivability even more oh let's go that's massive um now we just got to figure out how to actually put them all together with the deck of cards unless we move this here move this down well maybe not that far like right there might move this there okay Let's see here Ah, there's got to be a way. What if I start here instead? No, that's not going to work because we're leaving this spot open. And we're leaving that spot open. So what if we did this? No, that's not going to work. Let's go! I figured it out. Oh my gosh. My brain is massive. I can't believe I just figured that out. I literally just, bu just bullshit it. <laughs> okay. Brain is huge. W. I should probably move this poison dagger on this cursed dagger situation too whenever I get a chance. Probably gonna be next round when we can actually buy that space. I need more stamina too. So more stamina potions would be great. Maybe even another health potion to proc that would be great. Are you insta procking? That's a lot of clovers. You insta -proc'd. Oh my gosh. He hurts. Plus, we didn't get up to the 12 heat generation for the ruby. Damn. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I'll take that L. Nah. Another health potion? I'll take... Should I get more? I don't know if I need more space right now. I kind of just want to get more of the Halo cards to actually utilize this guy. Uh, if that's the case, and I want this to be there. Looks like. Does that make sense? Let's see if it makes sense. For the sake of min-maxing, I guess. We might not just have enough space to where we don't even have to worry about min-maxing right now. I think so. Yeah, we definitely have enough space where we don't have to worry about min-maxing. If that's the case, then I'm just going to move you back down here. Now I have to worry about min-maxing. <laughs> uh... I still can't... I, that, that achieved nothing. Literally achieved nothing. Nope, that's not gonna work. 
And that also achieved nothing. Crap. There's gotta be a way for me to do this somehow. There we go. <laughs> that worked. In that case, I'm buying space. I don't know where to put you. Okay, awesome. Another halo? I'll get it. I'll get it next round. I don't mind another Halo, I don't think. <laughs> All right, Pyro, Berserker. I mean, Pyro, uh, Bloodthorn. This guy's gonna be a problem. I think we might be just fine. Woo! Hell yeah, let's go. Good game. Give me some heat generation. The game hates me. <laughs> the game hates me. There's not, well, uh, I need two more. Yeah, there's, well, no. Well, maybe. Let's sell the banana, sell the health potion, less stamina, but more defense. I'm mad I didn't get that extra heat generation for this freaking ruby chunk. Be fine though, probably will be fine. Um, if I just move this down here, <laughs> that kind of just works. Oh no, the hammer needs to go there. God dang it. Never mind, that kind of just doesn't work. Okay, there we go. All right, this is the build. Could be better with another halo. Literally just one more. That'd be 12. Literally one more would be 12 and we can have a whole nother activator for all these daggers to make them way better. But no, but no. I, I'm gonna do risky. I'm gonna be risky here. And sell that just to get another slot. I know it's risky and it's probably not better to do that because we can get more stamina with both of those health potions, especially going against a moon shield with the banana as well. But why not? This guy doesn't have that much uh, damage, it seems. It looks like he's just relying on the empowerment from the spike staff and then torch, but he doesn't really have any like crazy weapons. He has like no crazy weapons doing a lot of damage at all. And if I could just steal, just steal one heat, Tim, there we go. Good, Tim. Now Ruby Chunk can start st um, stunning, which means we don't really have to rely on uh, Hammer, because Hammer's out of stamina. <laughs> so we're just relying on Ruby Chunk for the for the stunning, realistically. Man, he's got nice. Look at the spikes on that bad boy. Good game. 97. Stats are insane, by the way. Even with nine luck, the freaking blind with the poison, the cold, everything about that was just absolutely insane. Plus Tim stealing buffs. I forgot this gains a, a one heat on hit. I mean, but then again, having just the halo lizards, just like literally one more would, would have been better. Most of the damage coming from that ruby chunk doing a lot of damage too, which is interesting. I mean, it does 23 to 28 plus the crits from um, crit chances 100% because of all the buffs from poison. So that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. And then Curse Dagger, Poison Dagger, Hammer. 
That makes sense. Where did most of the uh, poison come from? Poison Goober. Okay. And then both the poison daggers. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. And then the heat generation, Ruby Chunk. And then, oh, wow. Tim actually didn't steal anything. Well, it, it, Tim probably stole that one spikes that we got. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. That's about it. Maybe Tim wasn't worth it. Tim would have probably been better off inside of the opponent's health drops below. Especially in those other battles we went against versus trying to steal one heat. Because that's the only thing we even cared about stealing in the first place. Either way, that was a good game, though. That was a good freaking game, especially that last one. It's a nasty build, by the way. Absolutely freaking disgusting. Good game. I enjoyed myself.